Northland Health Center is good. Morning, Jenny. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks Good. for having me. Of course. Thank you for coming on here today. Now we're kind of both stuck at the office all day, but does that yes. mean we can not, we, we don't have to stop moving. We can keep moving. And is that kind of where you want to go with mindful movement? It doesn't matter where you're Yeah. At. Yeah. And well, a lot of people don't, I mean, we know our mind and body is connected, right? We hear that all the time, but we may not always be aware of how that benefits us for managing our emotions. That's where a lot of people feel like our emotions are all internal. There's nothing, you know, it's a mind over matter kind of thing, but what we have a great tool in our arsenal of helping manage our emotions and that's our own physical body. There's a lot of things with our nervous system, our body, our muscles and things like that, that that we can use to help us regulate our emotions. So it can't always, it doesn't always have to be like this internal battle. If we're struggling, we can use some mindful movement or movement to help us with that problematic emotions that come up when we don't want to have these feelings. We're really angry where, you know, you've heard of things like hit a pillow when we're really angry. You know, there's, there's some benefit to that movement when we're having these different emotions, but it's, it really breaks down into that central nervous system, like that fighter flight, kind of our parasympathetic um, nervous system and our sympathetic nervous system work together when we are have our mind aligned with it, it can help us vent out some of those emotions. It can help us find benefit and get to a more a satisfied state of being than, than we would want to be. And that we have control over. We can do that by moving mindfully. So I want to talk a little bit about what we can do. I often fi times find, Jenny, that I do... <sighs> Like it just helps me kind of let things loose and kind of just set back a little bit and take a grasp of uh, what I'm feeling and what my realms are. Is that one thing? And like just breathing, meditation. I've heard a lot of good things yeah. about yoga. Yes, there's basically four different kinds of like mindful movements that you can do. Breath is like our solid core anchor foundation one at breathing exercises can be really good for that. We can also have you like you said that yoga that is, that is great for incorporating the mind and body together along with stretching. So even if you don't know yoga, just sometimes stretching, you know, getting our posture in a certain way can help us with getting that flow going and getting that emotional kind of regulation and that openness that we want and walking is another great one it doesn't always just have to be you know going for a walk we can be mindful of when we leave our offices if we have to walk from our room to like where we pick up our printing or we walk to go grab a patient or, or something like that we can be aware of what it feels like with our feet as they hit the ground each step and just how our breath is and what it feels like on the our leg muscles and things like that of being aware of the actual process of walking what it feels like to be mindful over that and uh, we said breathing stretching yoga and oh the last one physical exercise that can be great for our muscles right we hear all the benefits of exercise well exercise can also be tied into mindfulness too because if we're con really mindfulness can be tied into anything that we're doing as long as we're paying attention in the moment on purpose and so while we're exercising and lifting weights you can notice like the up and down motion of lifting i'm i'm <laughs> <laughs> pretending to lift weights don't right. have weights with me but that movement of the up and down movement that you have and what it feels like to expand and contrast the the muscles what does that feel like we can concentrate on that actual movement and just be aware of what we feel like. Maybe we notice something that's new to us. Maybe we, uh, something familiar reminds us of, this is why I like to do this because this feels good. But that process of being one with your mind and body and the exercising and movement can be very calming and can help us kind of build that resiliency for any um, problems or, or stresses that we may have that have yet to happen. I'll tell you what, Jenny, there is a world's difference. You know, yes, sometimes yes. when you go to the gym, you are your brain's just not in the workout. Your mind's not right. there. And then the difference to it when you're all in is amazing. It feels like two different workouts. So I want to know from you, though, how can we go about having that mindful workout? Do we listen to the earbuds? Do we not? How do we what are some steps that we could take? 
I find it very helpful um, if we're really wanting to be mindful and allow our mind to have this curious kind of stance to it is to unplug, to get rid of those earbuds. Because a lot of times, what do we listen? We listen to our our favorite songs and we, we probably get to know these favorite songs pretty good. So our mind can almost predict what's going to happen next with the tone, the beat, the movement, you know, which can be good in some things. But if we're wanting to be that curiously aware and surprised by what we're actually noticing, we can unplug from that and just listen to the sounds around us because we can't control the sounds around us in the environment. That's all naturally produced and our mind can't predict that or pattern that. And that's where we get into those automatic behaviors is where our mind is kind of predicting where we're going to go. You know, we drive to work and all of a sudden, oh crap, I'm here at work. How did I get here? I don't really kind of remember that that's that automatic kind of muscle memory kind of thing that we go through so if we want to avoid that we can unplug from that to give us that new experience and to really be fully present in what's happening here and now in the moment absolutely and so that's a good point now here's the other question i'm gonna pull a twist on you jenny because you told us to kind of unplug well now we're unplugged and i'm running on the treadmill i hear myself breathing <laughs> i'm not a fan of yeah. that how do i kind <laughs> get in tune with that it's you know so abrupt and harsh i'm like i'm not running right i'm out of breath right how do we kind right. of put that into perspective Definitely. Well, one thing that we practice with mindfulness is also non-judgmentalness, right? So let's not judge if we feel like we're breathing, you know, like, well, I'm really out of shape. I really need to work out more. Let's fact on you are breathing. What does it feel like? Even if it is fast or rough or abrupt or, you know, not what you would prefer it to be, but you're still breathing. And that doesn't mean you're going to always be breathing that way. So it's maybe your perspective on the breath is, hey, I have this breath and I can exercise like this. My body is working the way it's supposed to be. Your body's going to do what it needs to do in order to get you to be able to do what you want to do. So your body just needs to do that right now. That may not mean it has to do that, you know, 10 times from now, but it, it will change. But let's not judge ourselves over it because then we're taking away from that gainful benefit of the exercise of the enjoyment of it, right? You know, it feels good to exercise. It feels good to have these things. So if we throw in those judgments into, mm, I shouldn't have worn this today, or I'm breathing a little hard, they're all going to notice, you know, kind of things. It takes away from the very point, your whole purpose of the exercising is to get that, that benefit benefit in that health. I mean, you still get the health benefit, okay. but mentally we're, we're psyching ourselves out on it. I'm kind of thinking here as you're given that illustration now, Jenny, if you've been to the KFYR studios before the stairs to get up, they're, they're not easy stairs, but now I'm kind of thinking, hey, at least I'm able to get up these stairs. That yes. says something. And every time I do go up, it's going to get better. So many different yep. things that we could talk about here, Jenny. But for now, where can we find more information about Northland Health Center for those who maybe have more questions? Absolutely. So you can reach us just by phone. Um, our Bismarck number is 701-255-4242. You can swing by and see us at Northland or you can catch us on the web and we're on Facebook too. Easy enough. Thanks, Jenny. We appreciate it. Now I'm going to breathe better, I think. Just overall mindfulness <laughs> for today. Thank you.